on the end, the spreaders, but they use a break of gadget. We put it like in the the door and didn't force the door open. The ram bar is right here. Uh -huh. You can twist the handle and it can extends on both ends. So if somebody's pinning like behind the dashboard, you can post behind the driver's seat and push that dash out. So the three pieces, they make up the jaws of life. Mm -hmm. One by itself would not really be considered a jaws of life system. And it's hooked right to the truck, and there's also a portable motor for it. Also, we have on the truck. So if a guy, you know, went flying off into a field someplace, uh -huh. we drive that, that gas-powered motor out to the field with some extra hydraulic hose and work out there. How many times have you had to use it? Oh, quite a bit. We use them probably four or five times a year, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they're not all major destruction wrecks. You know what I mean? There's different variations. Yeah. Yeah. Some are real simplistic. equipment doesn't mean you're going to get out in three minutes. Yeah. Depends on the severity of the crash. We can pop the door in probably four minutes. We have one set in this truck, and we have another spare set on the on the, on the engine. Uh -huh. If we need to cut up two cars at once, you know, we can. Yeah. They get used more often than you'd like to, you know. Yeah. We have extra training on those. Not every fireman here can use them. You have to be qualified on the rescue truck, and which means you put an extra time to learn the jaws mm -hmm. to safely be able to use them. 